we are continuing with persuasive speech outlines. And this is just another way in which you can organize a persuasive speech. It's called the refutation format. You're going to start off like other speeches. You're going to have a story. Make that story captivating. Grab the audience's attention. And then you're going to state your topic and let the audience know where you stand. For this particular example, today I will convince you to be for capital punishment. When you choose a topic, make certain that the topic can, can be the topic can be argued, meaning there are people or somebody in sound mind that are for and against. You don't want to choose a topic like I would like to convince you to be against abusing animals because nobody of sound body and sound mind is for abusing animals. We move on. Our thesis will be main point one, the background. Pretend we know nothing about the topic and you have to bring us up to speed. Point number two, the opposition, the individuals that disagree with your stance, their strongest arguments, and then point number three, your stance, and you're going to refute the opposition's three or two strongest points in your third point. So we get to the body, main point one, background, sub point A, sub point B, just bring the audience up to speed. Pretend like the audience knows nothing about your topic and you have to inform them with background information so they have a solid foundation as to what it is you're talking about. Then we get to point number two, the opposition. Let the audience know that you disagree with the opposition stance. You are simply restating their points so that the audience may have some type of context. So you use two or three sub points. Again, use the strongest sub points that the opposition has because you're going to refute them when we get to the third point, which is your stance and use a lot of I language. I believe that we should be for capital punishment and you're simply going to refute the opposition's points or subpoints in point number two. Again, use a lot of I language. Take ownership. This is what I believe. Then you're going to end, like all of the speeches, in conclusion, some of the main points. I told you about point number one, the background, point number two, the opposition, point number three, my stance, and a call to action. Let the audience know what they can do to support your stance. Contact your local representative, call your congressman, your congresswoman, something that the audience can do so that they can come over to your side. And no, in a persuasive speech, you're not going to be able to persuade everybody. You just simply want to give the strongest argument that you possibly can. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And thank you very much.